In this video, we will continue with the binomial theorem. You will find this on page 86 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Expand, now luckily this is only to the power of 4, 3x minus y over 2, using the binomial theorem. Okay, going to make it a little bit bigger. And it's very easy if you just remember that formula. So the formula is where you take 4 and 0, and I want to take you back to the formula in the textbook. This is the formula I'm referring to. So this is the general formula. It's t and it's r plus 1. Okay, so r, if you plus 1, you will get the position of the term. Then it's n over r, and then it's a, n minus r for the first term, and for the second term in the, in the, binom in the binomial bracket, n is only r. So this is a very important. Okay, let's go back. So basically, I'm just going to do that. So it's 4, 0, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4. Okay, and then it's easy. So the first term, remember this is your first term. It's just 4 minus 0. And this is your second term. And take the negative, that's what I showed you. Make it a positive, take the negative with the term. And then it's 0. And then it's just minus, so it's becoming 3, can you see? And it's becoming 2, and it's becoming 1, and it's becoming 0. And this one is counting up. So it's 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. And then basically you just work it out. Okay. So always, before you multiply, just get your exponents first in, or your indices. Okay, so it's 81x4. This is just 1. This is this, 27x3. This is minus y over 2. This is um, 3x times 3x, 9x squared, and this is oh, y squared 4, and then I basically just simplify, and I just multiply everything out, use the fractions, not decimals, because otherwise you're going to approximate, but um, especially with some of them. So just leave it like that, in, in, in vulgar fractions. And that is your first, that, that's actually not just the first four terms, it's simplify the whole, expand the whole bracket. Okay, I want you to stop the video. Just going to make it a bit bigger. I want you to do number B as well and as number C. And again, you can continue uh, the video as soon as you are finished. First, try to do it on your own. Okay, let's start. I'm starting with number B. And this is nice because it's also it's very nice. It's a very simple one. So basically, uh, if I start, it's, I, I start with that, and it's always starting for zero. Okay, then your first term and 4 minus 0 is 4. And grab that sign, negative 3y, and it's only the 0. Okay, plus, you can keep to plus. And then 4, 1, your first term, and now it's counting down, or 4 minus 1 is 3, and it's negative 3y, and it's 1. Plus, and then 4, 2, your first term, and that will now be 2, because you subtract. And your next term, that will now be also 2. And then, uh, it's 4. This is still going to be another term. You go until you have 4, 4. So the first term is 3. Uh, okay, for, no, sorry. Do you see it? If you say 4 minus 3, it's only 1, because it was 4, 3, 2, 1. And then your second term, it's 3. And then the next one is 4, 4. And your first term is now 0. Subtract. And the next term is now 4. Okay. And now I can simplify. I'm even going to use another color just to make the rows a bit more clear. So if you press this, you're just going to get 1. And this is going to be x to the power of 4, and that's also going to be 1. Plus, and press it on your calculator, 
press 4, very nice, the NCR, and then 1, and you get 4, and then it's going to be X3, oh, my pen, my pen, so X3, and it's negative 3Y, and then plus, and now, oh, sorry, I prefer writing it without a bracket, so 4, in, and then um, it was 2, and that's 6, and now it's going to be x squared, and then negative 3 times negative 3, it's 9y squared, plus, and now 4nc3, it's 4x, negative 27y3, plus 4, 4, which is 1 again, uh, which this is 1, this, be careful, it's 3 to the power of negative 3 to the power of 4, and it's negative, uh, no, no, it's positive, because it's a, um, so it's positive, it1, y4. And I'm going to just, just to help myself a little bit, I'm using different colors in this, because you have more space, I don't have so much space to write. Okay, so it's just going to be x4 for the first one. Then this is going to be negative 12, x3, y, and this is going to be positive, and then 54, x2, y2, and now 4 times negative 27, so it's negative 108, x, y3, and then if I have to move it, but plus 81y4. Okay, now can you recall, and I just want to highlight this again, how can you check your own answer? Just two basic things. If it's negative, it will start positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Otherwise, you made a sign mistake. If it's just positive, everything will be positive. Then don't also forget that the exponents will add up to that 4. So, it was this 3 plus 1 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 1, 4, 4. That's also a way to control. Okay, that's how I did it with the binomial theorem. Let's do the next one. Okay, and that will be number C. Okay, now this one is luckily positive. Could have taken that one. That was nice to you. But try to do it also the other one. And this one looks like it's the power of 6. Okay, so in this one, exactly the same. I start, and now it's just 6, 0. Then the first term, 6, and the second term, it's 0. Okay, you don't even have to write. Uh, um, this is 0. Plus... 6, 1, the first term, it's 5, the second term, it's 1, plus uh, 6, 2, the first term, it's 4, the second term, it's 2, plus 6, 3, the first term, it is 3, the second term, it is also 3, plus, uh, okay, where am I now, 6, 4, the first term, and, and just control yourself, it was 6, 5, 4, 3, and now it's 2, otherwise just subtract, and the second term is the bottom one, 4, plus, oh, never ending, 6, 5, the first term, subtract, the second term, 5, plus 6, 6, the first term, now it's 0, the second term, it's 6. If you, now I'm just using another color, so this is always 1. Then 2 to the power of 6, it's 64. 
and this is just one again and six and one so it's six one and that will be six two to eight is 42 and then it's p over two plus six ncr2 it's 15 and then 2 to the power of 4, it's 16. And then it's B squared, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. Plus uh, 6 NCR, 3, it's 20. And then it's 8. And then it's B3. And then 2 times 2 times 2, it's 8. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Plus 6 and 4, so 6 is 15, um, and then it's 4, oh, let's just get my pen correct, and then it's B4, and then 2 to the power of 4, um, 4 is 16, 6 and 5, 6, and then it's 2, it's B5, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Ah, oh, I think I want to fit it in. Okay, plus 6 and 6, you can taste it, but it will be 1. And then this will also be 1. And this will be B6, 2 to the power of 6, we had this, what, what is it, 64. Okay, I'm just using different colors that you can see better. Okay, so what will be my final answer then? If I look at this one, this is number C, so um, this is going to be 64. Then this is, okay, so it's 6 times 32 divided by 2. So 6 times the 32 divided by 2, and that's 96. And that's just a B. Now that's 15 times 16 divide 4 and that will be 16. And that will be, where am I now? Um, 60 and that will be B squared. This one will be 20 times 8. Well, that's and divide 8. So it will just be 20. And where am I now? That will be B3, I'm there. And then this one will be 15 times 4, divide 16. And that will give you a fraction now. 15 over 4. So you can divide, just press Shift ABC, and that's B4. And then this one. Um, 6 times 2 divide 32 and it's just going to give me it's 3 over 8 and then this one is 1 over 64 b to the power of 6 and that's my final answer okay not very difficult if you know that formula very easy to work it out. Just concentrate on your simplifying.